Jasmine Pellini takes the victory over Camilla Osorio. Now, that was a pretty even line. Great value on Pellini. She comes through, gets a victory. Just a little too athletic and strong for Camilla Osorio, the defensive-minded player. And what about Wong taking out Putin Seva, the veteran? Putin Seva, not really someone you want to back. She plays herself out of a lot of matches, cannot control her emotions, makes a lot of mistakes, very sloppy, sloppy play. Wong, I say it all the time, has an amazing left forehand down the line. It was on full display today. She beats Putin Seva in straight sets. And the main event, Elena Rebecca taking on Ludmilla. Now listen, guys, we all know Ludmilla has dominated Elena in this head-to-head. And uh, Elena, she knows who Ludmilla is. Ludmilla was one of the older players from that federation scene coming up. And Iga even uh, said it herself. Look, uh, Iga was uh, asked about Ludmilla in an interview a couple years ago. And she mentioned that, yes, she knows who Ludmilla is uh, in junior. She was one of the older players. And Ludmilla, look, big sister relationship to Rebecca, if you will. But uh, all the values on Rebecca. But this is why she struggles against Ludmilla. Ludmilla, unlike Iga, Iga doesn't want to camp out behind the baseline. Uh, but Ludmilla loves to play behind the baseline. She has a long, rangy forehand that can extend the court. The further you are behind the court, gives you more options on where you want to go with the ball. You can go cross court. You can go down the line. And Ludmilla's forehand is top notch. Ludmilla, believe it or not, this year, even though she did so well in her first serve metrics last year, this year she's dominating her second serve. But this is why she troubles Rebecca because Rebecca she attacks the back foot and the forehand, unlike Iga, Iga wants to step up into the forehand, right? She doesn't want to be behind the baseline where Ludmilla, she loves to play so deep and her forehand is so fast and strong. Uh, Rebecca can't really get around to return those shots. However, guys, I love Elena because of her serving ability. Even if Elena's down 30, 40, 15, 40, 15, 30, she always comes up with a big serve to get her level or ahead. And that is something that a lot of players on tour do not have. So watch out when Alicia Parks finally controls her double faults. She's going to dominate the tour because she has a weapon that no one has. No one's blasting aces like that anymore. So we're seeing a lot more serve placement with players uh, trying to really set up their rallies, short rallies, if you will. But we're biking uh, Alicia Parks huge serves and you have to like players like that because that is a serious weapon ladies and gentlemen elena strikes first and look if she can hold on she'll she'll take the first set uh, i do think the match being played today benefits elena i think if it would have been played last night she would have been in trouble i don't think elena plays well at night but keep in mind guys elena we're back in a is undefeated in WTA 1000 semifinals. Little big sister in attendance, tennis in a minute. She's up 4-1, guys. The underdog, can she pull it off? Stay tuned for more tennis coverage.